it might have oh, jumped on, but honestly, he, he had early in the game, better to play it safe than, safe than shoot yourself in the foot. Absolutely. Mitchell under center. Hand up quickly. It's going to run into a pack of a In West Virginia, <laughs> uh, the cover of game right now. I uh, was saying about uh, coming here to Shepard is this place gets loud and rocket. Uh, so once they get momentum, um, don't be surprised if that place starts to shake. And I understand what he was talking about now. Yeah, absolutely. A good showing out of, of the crowd of Shepard. Mitchell in the shotgun, four receivers, two tight to his right. Mitchell gets the snap. Firing quickly, he's able to make complete the pass to Jackson. Jackson brought down just shy of the 35-yard line. Looks like he's going to be brought down just shy of the first down marker as well. Yeah, and so we just got some stats on that uh, scoring drive for Shepard. That play went at 85 yard. That, pla that pass the score er, went, uh, for about uh, 65. Third down and three from the 38 yard line. Mitchell in the shotgun. Trips to his right, one receiver to his left. It's Mc McCann in the backfield with him. Mitchell gets the snap. Looking quickly to his right, he's able to complete the pass to Tarrant. Tarrant brought down at about the 30. For Noah Mitchell, oh, he, oh, he's up to a, oh, 35 yards now. First down and 10 from the 35, Mitchell gets the snap in the shotgun, looking, rolling out to his right, looking for any sort of help that just throws that one away. Cam Tarrant on the opposite side of the field, screaming for a left wide open, but Mitchell unable to look over here and, and, and unable to find him, throws that one away. Yeah, and some of the shepherd right. He's gonna have McCann in the backfield with him. Two, Mitchell's left. Mitchell sees the snap, hands it off, fakes the hand up. Actually, Mitchell gets the snap, play action pass. Mitchell looking, able to get his way out of the pockets, rolling to his left, just heaves it down the field, trying to find someone, trying to find Malik Langley on this close, on this near side. But that one's gonna. Wilkins will have trips to the left hand side. McCann in the backfield for Mitchell. Mitchell in the shotgun. Gets the snap quickly. He's going to hand it off to McCann. McCann is it, it falls down through the hole after a pickup of about three or two or three. He's going to get marked down at the 10 yard line. Yeah, it looks like they're going to give him about three on that one. Mitchell going to fake the pass. Roll to his right, trying to find McCann on the screen, but McCann unable to pull that one in after a couple bobbles. It's going to go incomplete. Shepard. Doing a great job of following up on the play, just diving on the ball in case maybe and left to play in the first quarter. Shepard rams up 6-0 over the Vulcans. Mitchell in the shotgun gets the snap looking and firing deep down the left-hand side. Trying to find Langley. There's going to be a few flags thrown in the area, so we'll wait to see what we what kind of call we have here. And they're pointing towards Shepard, or so. Uh, the Vulcans might have caught on a break here as Langley was trying to. Other, but the Vulcans come out the better of it. Mitchell in the shotgun gets the snap. Uh, steps up in the pocket, looking to his left. His pass is going to be incomplete, trying to find Langley again. Had a couple more. Yeah, we've seen a few drops already here today. Mitchell in the shotgun once again. He's going to hand it off to McCann. McCann. Unable to get anything going, brought down after a gain of maybe one. So it's going to bring down, bring up a third and long here for the Vulcans. Uh, did, uh, he got a few more yards than what did you think there, John? Uh, it looks like it's going to be about third and about all five. Let's see, th trips McCann in the backfield with him. Third down and long. Mitchell stepping up in the pocket is going to get brought down for the sack, but hold up, We've got a flag thrown in the backfield. Waiting to see potential to see the Vulcan offense up close is there's about 10 yards away from us from where we're standing. Mitchell in the shotgun. He's going to hand that one off to McCann. Look, McCann looking for anything, able to turn the legs and push forward for a gain of about three. So did a great job there. Bring down up a second and seven. Uh, they're going to mark him down. Oh, it's going to be second and four and six now. Uh, so got him. Two. Especially in the second half. Second down and six. Mitchell hands off to McCann again. McCann looking for some room. It's going to get brought down past the 35 at the 36. So it's going to bring up a third. Third and manageable. Third down and about five or six. Drive Mitchell in the shotgun. Three receivers to his left. 
Gets the snap, looking, scrambling to his right, looking for anyone, trying to find anything, and it's going to Aaron and Jackson on this close side. You got to watch Willis on the far side. Mitchell gets the snap, looking to that far side. That one incomplete, trying to find Langley. That pass too high. It's going to fall incomplete. Not something we see too, too much. Mitchell checked in for the Vulcans. Going to hand off to McCann. McCann trying to find a hole. He's able to bust through the seams and pick up maybe maybe half a yard, one yard. So we bring up a third and long now for the Vulcans. Or all the momentum is on your side at the moment. And so you've got to find a way to score here. Trips on the far side. Mitchell in the shotgun gets the snap. Looking to his right, firing it deep to Jackson. He has Jackson wide open. Jackson makes the catch. Jackson to the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Jaquay Jackson. Not only is that the touchdown, that's the record for Noah Mitchell. All-time passing record for the Vulcans. Able to find the end zone finally. He 26 he had, so Mitchell needed 74 to break it. He's at 90 he on the day. Mitchell now looking to extend his passing even further. Bico out to make the extra point. Kick is up and kick is good. So it'll cut the lead not only into half, but even further. Cuts the lead from 13 to nothing, 13 to seven. Six point lead now for Tarrant to his right. Has Willis one on one on the left hand side. Mitchell fumbles the snap. Is able to recover, but after losing about nine yards on that one, it's gonna get brought back to the 30. I think the Vulcans now after that quick score, just a little bit of That'll be better. second down in 19. Six minutes and running left in the first half. Mitchell in the shotgun. Gets the snap. Looking and firing to his right quick pass. That one caught by Jackson. Jackson going to get brought down just shy of the 20-yard line. For a gain of about 10. So it's going to be a third down and long now for the Balkans. Yeah, and that's going to get him. Um, looks like, like back within the, the original whole, whole line of scrimmage. Actually, that's going to be inside the, uh, the, the original line of scrimmage. You know you're in Biko's range here. Terrific leg on him. Trips to the left-hand side for Mitchell. Mitchell in the shotgun gets the snap. Looking. He's going to scramble out. He's going to scramble to his right, trying to find a receiver. That one is going to be incomplete, trying to find. Looks like Jackson on the play there. There, John. Or no, oh, correction, it's Lang. Against Kutztown. Biko out to add on another one. Biko's kick is up. And his kick is no good. Two misses out for Mitchell. McCann in the back of it with, or McGriff in the back of it with him. Hands it off to McGriff. McGriff able, not gets brought down about a yard show, uh, shy of the line of scrimmage. Uh, having a couple, or um, the referee having it. Mitchell hands off to McGriff again. McGriff working his way up the field. Picks up about five or six. Going to get brought down just shy of the 25 yard line. Interesting. This, is, interesting. this is actually smart by the Vulcan staff. I mean, we saw this last week as well when the Vulcans took over at the end of the first half. We're able to pick up points on that drive, but started off with a couple of runs. I think like they're doing exactly like you said. They're just running off the clock. Mitchell gets the snap. It's going to roll to his left. Mitchell looking for a receiver, trying to fire that one deep down the field. That one's going to get waiting for the signal. They're going to say he was out of bounds on that one. And, but there's a flag on the play, and I think it's going to be a late hit, hit here, John. Yeah, there's going to be a flag in the backfield. They're making a good one. I think you maybe get one play, try to get Biko into closer range. Mitchell gets the snap, trying to find someone is able to find Tarrant on the far side. Tarrant gets pushed out of bounds with 4.7 seconds remaining. He's going to get brought down at the 23 yard because I saw all what happened when they tried to do this to him at IUP and he ended up having ice in his veins. Shepard fans screaming, trying to throw Biko off. Snap is up, the kick is on its way. The kick is up and the kick is good. Anthony Biko misses the first, makes the second. We'll cut the lead down to three. That'll be the end of your first half here at Rams Stadium. Your score, Shepard 13, California 10. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on CUTV, CUTV Sports 1, the PSAC Network, 91.9 FM, the Vulcan Sports Radio Network. Vulcans will take over first down and 10 from the 30-yard line. Mitchell in the shotgun, gets the snap, looking, firing to his right, quick pass caught by Jackson. Jackson giving the stiff arm to his defender. He's going to get pushed out of bounds just shy of the 40-yard line. Great work there by Jackson. 
and, and looks like he will get uh, uh, pushed out just shy of the first down. Yeah, and it took uh, three defenders there. From 39, Mitchell in the shotgun, Edenfield in the backfield with him, hands it off to McCann. McCann looking for a hole, is able to find one, able to push his way past the 40 and get to the 41 before being whistled down. So McCann is going to get enough yardage to pick up the first down and get a new set of chains for the Balkans. Yeah, and that's what we talked about out here with the Vulcans so far. All there, McCann gets the first down. First down and 10 from the 41. Mitchell in the shotgun is going to hand it off to McCann again. McCann looking for some room. Able to spin up and pass a few defenders. Picks up a gain of maybe one or two. Did a great job at not getting brought down in the backfield as, as it looks like a couple of, of Shepard players on that far side were able to break off their blocks. Yeah, and it's going to bring up second and eight. McCann is for 23 yards. McCann goes in motion, steps now to Mitchell's left. Three receivers. You got Jackson, Langley, and Tarrant. It also has Edenfield just off the formation in the right. Mitchell in the shotgun gets the snap. Looking to his left, trying to find Langley. And Langley comes back and makes the catch and has enough yardage to get the first down. Going with the E. And the 45, first down and 10. Mitchell in the shotgun again. Langley still one-on-one -on, -one on that far side. He has McCann in the backfield with him. Has three receivers to his right and, and daughter, Daughtery Tarrant and Jackson. Hands that one off to McCann. McCann looking for any sort of breathing room. Can't find it. Looks like he's going to get brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Absolute, have been on absolute terror the first two games of the season for Shepard. Vulcan's able to keep that one down. McCann been held quiet in this one. Second and 11. Mitchell look, gets the snap looking. Is, try, is able to dump that one off to McCann. McCann able to work his way up the left hand side. Gets pushed out of bounds at about the 38 or about the 33 yard line. He's going to send McCann to his right. Three receivers still on the near side. Fakes the pat or fakes the run. Is going to make a quick pass in the inside. Caught by Cam Tarrant. Brought down at about the 28 yard lines for, for a, a quick gain of about seven. So far in the start of the second half, this Vulcan offense getting a little bit of emotion, getting into the rhythm, into the rhythm, excuse me. 11-20, lead 13 to 10. Mitchell in the shotgun. Still has three receivers. Two is right. Mitchell fakes the handoff. He's gonna pass it over to Tarrant. Tarrant isn't able to hold on to that one, drops it, it's gonna go incomplete. So we bring up a third and four from the 30 around the 30 yard line. Still McCann in the backfield with on third and three from the 27. Mitchell gets the snap, firing towards his right. That one caught, and I believe for the first down will be Jaquay Jackson once again, pulling in another catch. Mitchell still in the shotgun, four receivers out for the Vulcans. McCann in the backfield with him. Mitchell gets the snap, fakes the handoff with a little bit of pressure. Went for a screen play, but the, the pass off the mark trying to find McCann. But the pressure was just too much, and, and that one is going to fall incomplete. Good play there by Mitchell. Oh, to dump that one off, off avoiding the sack there. We'll stop the clock with 10 and a half. Yeah, and we talked about oh, how penalties were going to probably play a factor here. here. And once again, and you just put Noah Mitchell and company right there at the doorstep up of the goal line as it's going to be set up at the 11-yard the line. First and 10 from the 11. Mitchell, hand that one off to McGriff. McGriff trying to find a hole, gets tripped up after picking up a few. He's gonna get brought down at about the seven or eight yard line, picks up about three or, or two or three. It's in the backfield for Mitchell. Three receivers as well. Nine seconds left on the game, or in the play clock. Mitchell gets the snap, hands that off to McGriff, or fakes the hand off to McGriff, wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Jaquay Jackson. He even fooled me there. I thought he was handing off to McGriff. He <laughs> would have find Jackson in the commanding lead. The Vulcans, I mean, you talked about it earlier, resilient in their play. They were able to fight their way back. Point after 10 from Biko is up, and it is good. So the Vulcans come from the 35-yard line. Edenfield in motion. Fakes the handoff to McCann, screen pass to Jackson. Jackson has blockers ahead of him and is able to get a 
Good chunk of yardage brought down. In his right one to his left. Mitchell gets the snap. Steps up in the pocket, throws it quickly to McCann underneath. McCann doing a great job at creating some separation. Gets a couple of nice juke moves in there. Picks up a nice chunk of yardage on the first down. And that It'll just pick you apart left and right. Well, here was the other thing. Uh, is we didn't see the check downs like we did uh, because Mitchell didn't have time. They're giving him too much time here. Seven minutes and counting here in the third quarter. California up by four. Mitchell gets the snap. He's going to hand this one off to McCann. McCann gets a couple blocks. He's going to make his way up the field, brought down at about the 31 yard line after picking up about five. McCann, the ball carrier, brought down by and that, that's been in the narrative here. Here, just a couple quick passes. It is onto the check down right now. Oh, Mitchell gets the snap. Set to pass, trying to find Willis on that one. That one nearly picked off over the middle. It's on the near side, McCann in the backfield. Mitchell gets the snap, looking to his left, fires. Caught by Jackson. Jackson spinning away outside. Jackson with the stiff arm. Gets pushed out of bounds by three players and has enough yardage for the first because you have other players left wide open. Mitchell gets the snap, he's gonna hand that one off to McCann. McCann works his way up the field, he's gonna get tripped up after picking up a few. And they'll bring up second down for about five or six minutes of the clock on that first drive. They're just controlling the game so far in the second half. Second and nine, Mitchell in the shotgun. Hands off to McCann again. McCann picks up a couple blocks, he's gonna work his way up the field, but he fumbles the football. And both teams are fighting for it. It looks like, I believe Shepard's gonna come up with the ball. So the Vulcans are going to take over now, oh, but I'm still questioning that one. Mitchell sees the step, hands that one off to McGriff. McGriff able to find a hole and using that, using that strength to pick up a few more. Gets pushed out of bounds after gain of a few. Uh-oh. And it looks like some tempers flaring in the middle of the field. Vulcan player losing his relaxed and the Rams student section across from us reinvigorated after, after a couple plays in a row. Second down and five from the 37. Mitchell gets the snap, quick pass, complete to Edenfield. Edenfield brought down at the third down, or at the first down marker, late flag thrown after. Yeah, I'm not sure what the call is here. Er, here, we'll find out in a second. Late flag thrown by the side judge, waiting to see what it's going to be. Looks like the offense. Looks like num the offense sitting around the first down marker. We're waiting to hear the <laughs> final call here. A fan underneath of us saying it was number 12's fault. So maybe it was. We'll, s we'll find out. Referees with their final decision. Looks like it'll. So there was no flag. So no flag on the play. On the 43-yard line of Shepard. Mitchell in the shotgun. Edenfield in motion to the right. Handoff's going to be to McGriff. McGriff able to find a hole and pick up a few yards there. Nice job by McGriff. It's going to get brought down just at midfield. Pick up about seven. Yeah, McGriff and this offense has just been rolling here. Here, if it ain't broke, what gun? Hand up, fakes the handoff to McGriff, rolling to his right, pass down the on the sideline. It's gonna be pulled. Look, is gonna be caught on the sideline by Willis the th in motion. Mitchell with the snap, firing deep down the left hand side, trying to find Langley. That one just too far overthrown. Langley had had the man beat, but that one just too far, and it's going to end up incomplete. Gets the snap, looking to his left. That pass just got away from him, trying to find Willis the third on the far on the far side, but that one ends up in the dirt, incomplete. Third down and long now for the Vulcans. Or if the Vulcans get the is is convert on this fourth down play, we saw him do it a couple times last week in Kutztown. On on it might silence the crowd here. Fourth and two from the 29, four receivers for the Vulcans. McGriff in the backfield with Mitchell. The Shepard fans 
screaming, trying to throw the offense off. Mitchell gets the snap. Quick pass outside, caught by Jackson. Jackson has enough for the first down. He's gonna get brought down just inside the 20 and a huge fourth down conversion for the Vulcans. That was a bit. Jackson one on one, but has the safety shadowing. Hands that one on to, off to McGriff, but blown up in the backfield by number 90, Journey Dunbar, able to bring down McGriff and, and the Vulcans lose about four on the play. To Mitchell's right, Mitchell gets the snap, looking to his right, stepping up in the pocket, is able to find McGriff. McGriff pulls that one in with that one-handed catch, picks up about five, or looks like he's gonna get marked right around the original line of scrimmage, so third down and long now for California. Uh, looks like he's gonna get- Seconds left here on the, on the play clock. Mitchell in the shotgun, gets the snap, looking to his left, evades the, trying to evade the pressure, his throw, it's going to be broke. Edenfield in the backfield split to him. There's McGriff behind him. Mitchell hands it off to McGriff. McGriff looking for some running room. Will pick up a few. Will be brought down at the 25-yard line pickup about one or two. That's McGriff's now. Oh, been rushing for uh, quite a bit. And I haven't seen any signs of McCann anywhere on the sideline. Uh, and, oh, speak, you can, uh, I stand corrected. Speak. Mitchell in the gun. We'll hand it off to McGriff. McGriff bounces it to the outside. He's gonna go for the hurdle. And he's gonna get hit out of bounds after picking up about five. McGriff just showing his athleticism there. Trying to get on the track team, I think. Set for the Vulcans. McGriff in the backfield with them. Mitchell in the shotgun. Mitchell gets the snap, looking to his right. Pump fake pass is complete over the middle. I believe to Fister, and depending on where the spot is, looks like he's gonna get called just short of the first down marker. We're gonna bring up about fourth and one, fourth and two. Yarlan McGriff in the backfield with Mitchell. Edenfield back there as well. He's gonna hand off to McGriff. McGriff patiently waiting for a hole. We'll find one, we'll pick up a few. Gonna get brought down at the 48 yard line. Pick up about two. And just like that, the Vulcans will just look to run out as much clock as possible. Just try to keep this game out of reach. Lead to three. Mitchell hands off to McGriff again. McGriff trying to make a tackle. Can't do it. Going to get brought down just at the line of scrimmage. Bring up a third down and long for California now. Yeah, and here's the other thing is what I've been looking at, at, at John. Uh, and so we talked about all, how the Vulcans have been taking their time. And um, guess what? But uh, they took ran 11 minutes off in that third quarter, and they ran off another four or or and then some um, here. Some third down and eight from the 48 line to get is the 44 yard line of Shepard Mitchell back to pass, able to find McGriff over the middle. McGriff going to get brought down well short of the first down marker. I thought he had Jaquay Jackson here on the near side, but dumped it off to McGriff. McGriff is going to get tackled at about the 40. Need one, at least one first down, Shepard, all three timeouts. 153 left to play, Mitchell hands this one off to McCann. McCann picks up a f about one or two. He's gonna get brought down. It looks like with that, Shepard will call their first. That, that matter as well. So after the timeout, 147, Mitchell fakes the handoff, rolling to his right, that pass batted down. By number two, Dante Harrison. That will stop the clock with 1.43 left to play. Interesting play call from the Vulcans. We'll bring up a third down in about nine or 10. And they need to get at least one. J Jackson one on one to his left. Mitchell gets the snap, escapes the pressure, rolling to his right. Mitchell looking for a receiver to come back, throws that one down the field. That one's going to get from the 25 yard line. Mitchell gets the snap. Has some time, has a receiver wide open. It's gonna be caught and brought down at the two yard line, I believe. So the referees are gonna concur, are gonna have a conversation about this. Is one saying Jackson caught it, the other one saying he didn't. So we'll see about what happens here. I think, yeah, I'm not quite sure. It was Malik Langley on the far side. They're gonna call that one incomplete. Tough break for the on the play clock. Mitchell in the shotgun, four receivers, three to his right. Mitchell with the design QB draw. It's gonna get brought down 
in the backfield all the way to the 31-yard line. Interesting play call from the Vulcans. And Mitchell going to take the sack on that one. Going to bring up a third and sixth. But here's the other thing, and you're put, and you're leaving, and a couple of these guys is on one-on-one -on -one coverage. Mitchell gets the snap, trying to evade the pressure, rolling to his right, trying to throw that one, and that pass is caught inside the 20 at the 18 by Jaquay Jackson. So he's going to get brought down short of the first down marker. It's going to be fourth and three for California. What are they going to like to do here now? It looks like they will send out the kicking unit, Anthony Biko. Now that is the one thing in over the first overtime because there's no claw ock. So it's until the deep. So the Vulcan send Biko out to give them the lead. Biko, his kick is up and his kick is no good. Biko sends that 